Okay, I decided not to leave it as an exercise for the student. Basically in the compare function in our, our nested uh, list view item compare class, I broke the uh, column values into all four values represented by our symbolic names, the constant names. And for student name, I used the same code we used before for sorting alphanumeric values. And then for student ID and average mark, which is our two integer fields, <coughs> I convert the first number to integer uh, via convert.2 int 32. And you notice it's uh, list view item cast x, since we have object x and object y, dot subview items call number uh, dot text. And that's converted to an int 32 for the first number. And I do the same thing for the second number. And I say if the first number is less than the second number, return a minus 1, which means things are in order. And if it's greater than the second number, return a 1, which means they're out of order and they need to be switched. And if they're equal, return a 0, which probably means you just leave it the same. And then for the date of birth code I just copied the same identical code except you notice I don't have the handling of the uh, sort order inside these since it's done exactly the same for all four places I, outside the switch I just move that code that checks for the uh, sort order and inverts it if it's descending multiplies it by a minus one and then we return the return value so now if we uh, compile and uh, run this, and I click on the student name, notice it search, uh, sorts it ascending. Second click, it sorts it descending. If I click on the student ID, which didn't work in, right in the previous value version, it sorts it uh, ascending. And it sorts it correctly in terms of numerical values because we converted all these to ints. And if we click it again, it goes uh, descending. And we get the same result for average mark, ascending the first time and descending the second time. And of course, if we click it again, we get ascending again. And date of birth also works correctly. So we're in great shape. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this series of videos. It actually ran twice as long as I expected. but all good stuff. I think good information. Well, I'll see you next video, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.